Welcome back to Closing Bell. President Trump's doctor has just began his uh, briefing. Dr. He's Sean Conley, let's listen to standard hospital discharge criteria. He'll receive another dose of remdesivir here today, and then we plan to get him home. It's been more than 72 hours since his last fever. Oxygen levels, including ambulatory saturations and his work of breathing, are all normal. Though he may not entirely be out of the woods yet, the team and I agree that all our evaluations, and most importantly, his clinical status, support the president's safe return home, where he'll be surrounded by world-class medical care 24-7. I'd like to bring Dr. Dooley up to review some more spe specifics. Good afternoon. Just a brief update this morning. Uh, as Dr. Connolly mentioned, the president uh, continues to do very well. His vital signs this morning uh, were notable for a temperature of 98.1. His blood pressure was 134 over 78, a respiratory rate of 17 respirations per minute. His heart rate was 68 beats per minute. And his last oxyhemoglobin saturation was 97% on room air. He currently uh, does not endorse any respiratory complaints. And aside from our uh, evaluation with the multidisciplinary team this morning, uh, has maintained a full schedule uh, ambulating and working on the White House medical unit. I'll now turn it over to Dr. Garibaldi to again discuss therapeutics. Thanks. Hi, good afternoon. And again, I just wanted to echo the sentiment of what an honor it is to, to be part of this, this wonderful team here at Walter Reed. Uh, yesterday evening, the president received his third dose of remdesivir. He tolerated that infusion without difficulty, and his kidney and liver function continued to be normal. Our plan is to give the fourth dose of remdesivir this evening before he goes back to the White House, and we've made arrangements to deliver the fifth and final dose of his treatment course at the White House tomorrow evening. He continues on dexamethasone, and again, the plan for today is to continue to be up and out of bed, eat and drink, and, and work as he is able. Um, and I'd like to turn it over to Dr. Jason Blaylock, who's an infectious disease specialist and the chief of medicine here at Walter Reed, to give some updates on infection control. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, first of all, I just want to say uh, what an honor it's been to be part of this medical team behind me uh, and to care for the president. Since the president's arrival at Walter Reed, uh, he's received medical management that remains in line with national clinical societal guidelines uh, for treatment of COVID-19 infection. In addition, uh, both myself and Dr. Wes Campbell uh, have worked very closely with uh, various uh, laboratories in the area, state-of-the-art facilities to include USAMRID and RARE on uh, obtaining advanced diagnostic testing to really inform the White House medical team of both the status of the president as well as his ability to transmit virus to others. Also, we have worked very closely with the Walter Reed team uh, to ensure that uh, we are looking very closely at infection control prevention strategies and the right posture so that the president can safely return uh, to his residence. And with that, I'm going to turn it over to Dr. Conley, who uh, will answer any final questions. Thank you. I mentioned it Saturday, but I'd like to reiterate myself just how grateful the president and I are to the men and women of Walter Reed, our colleagues at Johns Hopkins, as well as the many federal, private institutions that we receive support from. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.